Now we have a new project and we're ready to get started. Our first task is to add the art assets we'll need. Take a look at the Solution Explorer window. In it, you'll see a tree structure that represents your project. In that structure, you'll see an icon marked Content. This is the node where you'll put all of your game's art assets. The primary art assets we'll use in our 3D game are models. Models are three-dimensional objects created in a 3D modeling package. In XNA Game Studio, these are imported in either .x or .fbx format. We have several .fbx model files ready for you to import. The previous chapter instructed you to click the Download Source Code button to unpack a collection of content to your computer. If you haven't done that yet, return to the previous chapter, click Download Source Code, and follow the instructions to get the content. Remember the folder you unpack the content to and return to this chapter. Let's copy our models over into our game. Size your Visual C Sharp Express or Visual Studio window down so you can get to your desktop or an Explorer window for where you place the content you downloaded last chapter. Click and drag the Models folder from the unzipped content and drop it right on top of the Content node in the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer is updated. Inside the model subfolder are the art assets we'll need for our game. Note that when you add assets, they're copied into your project folder, not linked from another location. When you add an asset to the Solution Explorer, the content pipeline will attempt to identify the asset and set it to be built when the project builds. For the .fbx models, this is exactly what we want. The content pipeline imports and processes the file when the project is built, and it turns into a model object we can access in code. The .tga files that we also added are textures that are referenced by the models. In the 2D tutorial, we wanted these in the content pipeline, since we used the texture 2D objects they were processed into. But in 3D, we don't need them to be processed. They'll automatically be picked up by the content pipeline when it processes a model that renders them. They just need to be in the right place on disk, which is why we added the textures, to copy them to the right place on disk. Now that the TGA files have been copied to the right place, we can exclude them from processing by the content pipeline. Make sure the contents of the Content Model subfolder is visible. Click on the topmost TGA in the list, then hold Control and click on each of the TGA files. Once they're all selected, right-click and select Exclude from Project. Make sure you don't click Delete by accident. Our 3D models are ready to be loaded into our game. 